So uh, where's the place to be? At uh, java.net. Um, that is the home of the community for all the source code that we are uh, publishing today. It will be the center for uh, where all communities are formed and where all activities proceed. And so I, uh, as soon as we're done here, I want to turn you over to uh, uh, cull through the new site java.net and the new information that's there. But before I do, I have uh, one formal ceremony that I need to perform because there, in fact, is the requirement to release the open source and uh, we're nothing uh, without uh, a little bit of, of formalism and formality here at Sun. So with the help of uh, James and Peter and uh, Duke himself, uh, Duke itself, we're not sure actually. Uh, <laughs> right, it's just, t never mind. So um, uh, let's get started here. So let's go. So we're in the midst of open sourcing the code right now, appearing on uh, java.net at a site near you. It, it's actually all there, and you'll see when we get to the very end here. And when we get to the very end here, read the copyright. We are done. It is done. Thank you. And thanks for the quick visual there. Thank you, Duke. Uh, more for you a bit later. So let's get into a few of the details. Uh, uh, Java SE, which is um, the technology you all know and uh, know well, um, will be released. The technology, the implementation will be released under the community name, the Open JDK Community. It's a V2 license, right? Um, and uh, it is available now. Uh, Hotspot, the core uh, uh, technology engine itself, Java C, the compiler, the uh, bytecode generator, and the Java help technology. And by the uh, end of the first quarter, uh, we'll have fully buildable JDK technology. There are pieces that are uh, rolling out over the next couple of months, but we're moving uh, very quickly. Again, all available in the community at java.net. Um, and I just want to make one uh, nuance available here, which is for those who have uh, uh, speculated, um, to ensure that this stuff is as widely usable and widely distributed as possible, Part of uh, the license with uh, Java SE in particular will be inclusive of the class path exception. And so uh, that will ensure that there is a complete availability, the freedom for developers to uh, use the Java SE platform and distributed applications with uh, the platform or separately from the platform without any concern about uh, the quality of the license itself. So let's move on. Java ME, um, the technology that you know on, uh, I think, 4 billion uh, mobile devices in the world. A uh, fairly uh, popular uh, bit of technology, as Jonathan said. Most of the world, most of the world certainly outside of the United States, realizes the virtue of the Internet uh, through uh, something other than a PC, typically a mobile device. And Java ME is the principal technology on the planet, as far as we know, this planet alone, to, uh, to go do that. I think it was uh, parts actually uh, made their way to um, Mars on the Mars rover, so I guess limiting to the planet is a little little narrow-minded. I apologize for that. But anyway, we're releasing uh, Java ME uh, to a new community called the Mobile and Embedded Community. I know that the team worked closely with the uh, ME community to get their input about the community name. This is the name we were uh, asked to use, and so we're going to proceed with this name. It's long, but I think we can all keep it on our heads. Um, available right now are the, uh, all the code necessary to generate uh, the feature phone for the Java ME impl implementation uh, and the TCK framework as well. This is uh, the CLDC technology. And so, um, well, we, we had one problem with this slide and one problem with the team. And, you know, sometimes you have to fess up. In the open source world, it's a little hard to predict exactly what's going on. And so uh, the team has been working uh, actually quite feverishly. So we had a lot of rework of press releases and presentations to do yesterday. So we made a bit of a mistake, which is, um, in fact, what we thought was coming soon. <laughs> is available today. And, you know, it's really important. First of all, I want to thank the team, you know, working really, really hard, uh, you know, day and night and day and night uh, for the last couple of weeks to uh, overcommit and overdeliver, or rather undercommit and overdeliver on all this stuff. Uh, but, you know, the CDC technology is the technology that drives uh, things like Blu-ray and other embedded devices. And it's critically important to get this into the hands of others. And we certainly uh, plan to do so over the next couple of months, but, well, why not overachieve? So thanks again to the team. And then finally, yes, thanks again to the team. And you know who you are. So uh, let's move on. Uh, Glassfish. Uh, we open-sourced Glassfish under the CDDL license last year. 
uh, a fabulous, a fabulously successful program. It's the number one uh, community activity on, on uh, Java.net. And so we're here to uh, talk about the extension of uh, the Glassfish project now to be dual open source license, not just CDDL but GPL to show consistency and to have that impedance match with other projects across the industry so it's available to, uh, uh, to uh, be deployed and licensed uh, any way, uh, either of these two methods rather. So there will be uh, the instantaneous addition of this license. There will also be a V2 update in the spring of uh, 2007 of the Glassfish project. You know, it's an incredibly powerful offering. It's a full commercial scale, open source, readily available um, application server platform with SDK available now. It's been a, a fabulous program and I think adding the GPL dual license capability to the platform will only again knee in the curve, add a boost to the value and, and uh, deployment and uh, application richness of the platform. Um, this really isn't only about a code and in fact it's hardly about code. A code by itself, charming, you got to read a bunch of it yourself for those of you who are uh, paying close attention. But in fact, this is really all about developers. Right? And so in that regard, uh, we are turning up the, uh, the energy and, and, uh, and uh, linkage between NetBeans and the NetBeans community to this open source announcement. We recently announced uh, NetBeans 5.5. It, it was fabulously critically acclaimed, all positive. As I mentioned earlier, the growth and success of NetBeans all available through the Sun Developer Network, all accessible through netbeans.org has been nothing short of fabulous. It's by far the fastest growing developer platform and developer community in the industry. But we've uh, done a lot of work to establish linkage between uh, the tools themselves and the accessibility of the code. The, the goal is to be able to uh, generate projects uh, instantly and in an automated fashion between the open source code itself and the NetBeans framework whether it's uh, the, uh, uh, the NetBeans Mobility Pack or Java for the Desktop or Server, you should uh, take a close look at NetBeans. You'll find that there's additional value as of today and going forward with regard to the open source announcement. So change is funny. People uh, feel a little uncomfortable with it. So for those who may be fearful that this is a change, in fact, this is an ad, right? For uh, all of the, uh, uh, our commercial uh, partners out there who have licensed technology from Sun, um, this really is a dual licensing model. It's something that uh, is published uh, widely in the, in the, um, in the uh, blogs across the uh, planet in the last week or two. Obviously, this is something we're going to continue to do. And, and as um, Jonathan noted, this is a rising tide value uh, for those commercial licensees and for those who would consider it. The broad distribution under GPL, the broad uh, you know, um, adoption by more and more developers in the industry will only add more value to those commercial licenses. And so um, nothing changes and everything is added. And so for those who are a part of the program, we thank you. And uh, we're uh, hoping to continue our business relationship with you. And I'm, I'm sure in this context, it'll be of added value and more and more partners will uh, come to Sun for um, you know, relationships as well.